but there's 562,000 people, I think. It was the number 500. Can you put that up? Put that graphic up there? Yeah. 542,000. 942 uh, people waiting for the tickets to go on sale for that game in Munich on September 13th, I believe, is the game in Munich. First game in Germany. German, obviously, military bases over there, mm -hmm. but also massive, the locals, Germans, massive fans of football. Mm -hmm. And I only know that because of Bjorn Werner, former teammate of mine, and Ping Pong Nemesis mm. is obviously from there, and now he's one of the now he's one of the um, like voices of the NFL in Germany. We're good with this in Germany. He has a massive following yeah. over there, massive. Anytime we talk about him, these fucking Germans show up in our goddamn yeah. comments section. Yep. They do this thing, this thing that they do, and it is loud. It is a lot, and I think this is great news for the NFL that this is happening, and also great news for Germany because that definitely means more games are going in the future, AJ. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, the first 54,000 people just waiting oh, for the opportunity to get five, tickets, right? Five. 542,000 people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, wow. yeah. Okay, yeah. I'd say it's already off to a, a success here. So how many more games has Raj already have in the works mm -hmm. to be played over there? Well, he's doing math right now, like 542,000. How many are in a stadium? Fuck, we can fill up five stadiums right yeah. now, six stadiums right now, seven stadiums. So we, we need, how do we get eight games over there? Fuck. At the very least, it's going to be like London, right? They're going to have, there will at least be one yeah. game every single year there. What country is next? Ooh. Like you know, because England became a thing. England became a thing. London games became a thing. The only team that hasn't played in London is uh, the Packers, yeah. who have played there this year. Playing this year, but yep. every other team had played over there. It became a normal. Remember, the Jaguars are almost going to be the home team for a little bit. London has really developed into its own celebration. We get to watch games what nine a.m. or ten a.m. Yep. Mm -hmm. awesome. It nine. is fucking awesome. Yeah. It is. Those days are great. It's like super wild card weekend. Perfect. When they go to London. Now the games are normally, mm, mm -hmm. so but sorry. nonetheless, it's a festival. Players are going to hate it, though. Oh, yeah. I, I played in that game over there. I mean, there wasn't a lot of my teammates who were like, yeah, this is awesome. This is this is what we love. It just breaks everything. Are it's, you glad you did it, though? Are you glad you were part of a team that went? I didn't do anything. I just stayed at the hotel, ate edibles, yeah. played a game we lost, had to punt a brand new football because Walt Anderson's a fuck, got an offside <laughs> penalty for the same reason. But I, I enjoyed meeting, you know, like on the bus. When you travel, there's locals, and I'm, sure. a, I'm a talkative person. So I learned a lot, I feel like. I got to go speak at the festival downtown where they said there was 950,000 people uh -huh. or whatever, maybe in the entire, there wasn't when I was speaking. Uh, maybe I don't know a good judgment of numbers, but getting to meet everybody over there, it was really cool. It was really, because the only times I've ever gone over there, uh, overseas, is just playing sports against people and you don't necessarily get the best whenever you're talking to people that you're competing. I felt like when we went over there for the England game, got the best out of people. Like people were very nice to us, very relaxed with us, very comfortable with us, very proud that we were over there. Everybody seemed to have a fucking great personality. It was, I feel like as a cultured human, I loved it. But football wise, I don't think you're gonna find a lot of players or coaches that are ever gonna enjoy that happening in the middle of the season, you know, AJ? No, it's like a it's like the yeah, like you said, they're you're changing your whole routine up and doing all of this stuff in the middle of a season where every single coach is on pins and needles at all times on the verge of a heart attack because they're so just anxious and nervous and so uptight about holding on to this gig and trying to win a football game. So, yeah, I would imagine in the moment it's kind of tough for some people, but then later on they maybe look back and say, oh, I'm glad I went. Like, I didn't go play in London. I never really was like, oh, man, I wish I'd, I, I wish we would go to that, London yeah. and play. But, if I, you know, I think it would be a thing like – I went there, it was cool, I'm glad I did it. That's yeah, why I feel like it. Yeah, it's like if you enjoy life, you're going to enjoy everything that's thrown at you, but yeah. if they keep adding games, all right, Germany is going to happen every single year Isn't now. Isn't zone? I think that's what, like, zone had, like, NFL rights in Germany, mm -hmm. I know, at least a couple Europe, of years ago. Too, they, okay. They're a big part of it. Spain, Italy, uh -huh. mm -hmm. so Germany, Brazil. We play, in, we play in Mexico already. Canada. That's right. where DAZN has rights at. I'm not talking about game. I'm just talking about where DAZN oh. has rights in. That's where their rights okay. are. But... 542,000, any promoter that sees that is going to be trying to... Exactly. Uh, we need two games, actually. Yeah. Don't yeah. you think we need, we need two games here? Think we of like the NBA commissioner and major league commissioners and owners. Like, are you kidding me? Like, the NFL could do whatever they want. Can you have one in Berlin and one in Munich, I guess? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Probably you just... know what you could do? Hey, wait, so the World Cup is in November. Stuttgart, Couldn't we maybe? have a couple mm -hmm. of December games in, in Qatar? There's like five stadiums there. They're, right. they're not one of the. What were you gonna say? Obviously. No, so this off season or whatever, every team, <laughs> every <laughs> team basically stadiums. got assigned a home marketing area for international uh, games, and they said the uh, they will have their best efforts to ensure clubs 
play their international games in their international home market. So like Germany's the Panthers, the Chiefs, the Patriots, and the Bucks. But there's also the Rams are in Australia. Brazil has the Dolphins. Canada has the Vikings and Seahawks. China has the Rams. And then there's <laughs> Germany, Mexico, and what? Spain and London. So it'll probably what? be. What? What was that sound? I didn't know China had a team. Yeah, the Rams. Wait, the NFL assigned them the team? How's that work? So yeah. it's like that's where their marketing is going. I think because when you go to a game in London, the game I went to, I might be wrong now, it's just a celebration of like American sports yeah. almost. So you see baseball jerseys, basketball jerseys, every NFL team is represented. You got people traveling from all over to be there. And I, I think they're trying to get more of like a home team yes. feel. Yeah. They're trying to get like a home team feel Makes over there. Sense. I'm not 100 sure if that's what they're trying to do, but it seems like that's what they're trying to do. It's fascinating to me that the Rams would be Australia. Yeah. Because they're closest. Yeah, but also like there's a lot of Aussie punters in the NFL right now. True. There's mm -hmm. a lot of representatives, and I don't think the Rams have one. But no. that feels like a country that would get a game. Yeah. Because Australia is producing a lot of NFL guys and changing the game, you know? And they have a passionate crowd in the Aussie. Brazil's the next place. You can see Brazil. You They'll, think? They only have one a lot team. Of, a lot of people there. A lot, yeah, like it's, you know, the UFC does very well over there. I would imagine football would too. Yeah, but Aussie rules football. You'd see Spain. I think they're fans. I'm not saying you could have a lot of games there, but you could have a couple where people would be like, yeah, hey, I'm interested. Like, like I want to go see at it. Least. Imagine, imagine somebody that hasn't seen much football at all and they go watch in person, it's got to blow your mind. First off, you probably have no idea what's going on. Like, the rules are hard to know if you didn't grow up watching it. I don't think Australia, I think Australia is a big market for, for the sure. NFL. Yeah. I think. Yeah. But that is, what, a 27-hour travel? At least Brazil's the same time zone. Right. Yeah, but they're making Seattle go all the what? way to Germany. So I don't think so they're that, 13? worried. What's that, 13? That's a long trip. I don't know what it is. Hey, get ready. Play good football. Fly back. Fucking play next week. <laughs> you get to. All right? You don't have to.